position, view, and the corresponding projection. You take the first case, position is above HP. So it always relates to front view. So naturally you should put the answer above XY line. Take the second case. The position is below HP. It relates to front view. You should plot the point below XY line. Here the position is on HP. Relates to front view. And you should put the point on XY line. Fourth case. The point is in front of VP. Position is in front of VP. It relates to top view. Answer should be below XY line. Again, fifth case, position is behind VP, it relates to top view, and it should be drawn above XY line. Last case, on VP, it relates to top view, and the top see the orthogonal projection of straight lines. Let's see type by type. First, let's see the simple case. You take a straight line AB, which is kept parallel to both HP and VP. How do you say it is kept parallel to HP and VP? It's very simple. The fact is very simple. Just go through the point A. It is placed at a height above HP. The same height is maintained at B also. It is placed at a distance in front of VP. The same in front of distance is maintained at the end of B also. Naturally, the straight line will be placed parallel to both HP and VP. So the answer looks like this. Just draw the reference line. Take the height for A dash. Plot the necessary length of the straight line. At the same height, P dash is also available. So mark it. Then you will get the point A dash P dash. So the answer is A dash P dash print view. Project A dash P dash. Draw one line through A dash. Similarly, draw another line through B dash. Take the distance that is in front of VP. In front of VP means you should place it below. So obviously, you put the A below. Then again draw one straight line, it is strictly parallel to the XY line. So put the point B, naturally you will get AB, AB is the top view of the line, A, capital A, capital B. So this is a very simplest case, this is straight line parallel to both HP and VP, parallel to both HP and VP. So you get uh, two horizontal lines as answers. The beauty is that suppose the height is 20 mm here, here also you should have 20 mm. The other side also you should have 20 mm. This height also should be 20 mm. Suppose you have the breadth uh, 30 mm here, strictly for B also you should have the breadth 30 mm. Again, the distance between the end projector is the length of the straight line itself. It is the speciality of this particular straight line. So it is a simple case. Let us take uh, the length of the straight line as T mm. So first case is over. Here the straight line AB is placed parallel to both HP and VP. So height from the ground to capital A and height from the ground to capital B both are same. In front of distance from VP to capital A then from VP to capital B remains the same. So that's how we are getting this simplest case. Come back to the type 2. Here it is not so. The ground distance, the distance from the ground to the point B is at a small height whereas the distance uh, from ground to the point Q is at a larger height. So that is a height different. So obviously that is an angle really coming to picture. But you see in the other side the in front of distance remains the same. From VP both the points P and Q they are at the same distance. So therefore it is still parallel to one reference plane. So that is it is parallel to vertical plane. Then you could get the true length on the vertical plane that is on the front view then you can say the straight line is parallel. If you get here you get the true length on both the places, so therefore you say the straight line is parallel to both HP and VP. Here you are getting true length only at the vertical plane, so you can say the straight line is parallel to VP. You are not getting true length on the horizontal plane, so you can simply say it is inclined. It is not parallel, so inclined. 
So now you will get uh, the answer. Let's say draw the reference line, extend this reference line slightly further. Take the pH, take the pH, plot the point P, you get uh, P dash for pH. Above HP means above H line. Take the point Q, height. Here the height is not given, instead the angle is given. So therefore, put the angle 30 degree. Take the length of the straight line. Let us assume the length of the straight line is 50 mm. Take 50 mm and make one arc. So you are getting P dash, Q dash. This is the answer. Draw one line perpendicular. Here also through P dash you draw this line. See the in front of distance is common for both uh, P and Q. So therefore take uh, the in front of distance and place the point P, draw one horizontal, you will be getting the answer PQ. So here we could note very clearly that uh, PQ is of shorter length. P dash Q dash is of true length. So this is true length. You are getting true inclination. So therefore you can say the straight line is inclined to HP and parallel to BP. One more thing is that it is inclined to HP, the inclination is not available on HP. It is available only on BP. So if the straight line is inclined to HP, you should see the inclination only at the BP. You can place the inclination only at that BP. The straight line is inclined to the ground, but uh, the inclination is available only on the wall. So you must note down this point also. As long as it is parallel, you will get the true length. If it is not parallel, you will get only reduced length. By seeing this, you can understand. P gives a top view, it relates to HP. So therefore, the particular straight line is inclined to HP. By seeing, looking at the front view, you can understand P dash Q dash is the front view length. You are getting the true length. So therefore, the straight line is parallel to BP. Front view relates VP, so therefore it is parallel to VP. You can very well write uh, these things. You can just put VP here and HP at the bottom. Look at the third case, type 3. Here again you have, you know, the height uh, remains the same. You have an arbitrary height, both are same. So therefore it, is, it should be parallel to one reference plane. So see here, in the top you are getting the true length. So it should be parallel to the horizontal plane. Here it is top view, so therefore it is parallel to horizontal plane. Whereas in case of the front view, it is getting shortened. You see the distance, in front of distance, they are not equal. Here you have small length, here you have little more length. So how do you find out this length difference? It's only by the angle. Here again you have the angle, the inclination is with respect to VP, it is available on HP. So you can understand this inclination can be very well available on HP. So draw the X-ray line, make uh, these points, first of all find uh, this small r, small r you can find, then you can draw the 45 degree line, draw the 45 degree line, on the 45